everybody on this beautiful day. So today in this YouTube video, I actually want to talk to you guys about a situation that I've kind of been in, but it's not because I'm a big, I'm an introvert, but um because I have a disability. Um, well, you know, I'm, in, I'm going to college to continue my BS in rehab studies, and that instead of me doing ABA as my minor, I'm actually doing um, I changed that to counseling. So this is actually some ideas that I have for people that are introverts or how for people with disabilities. Because personally for me, because of my disability, I've been in that situation a couple of times and I thought these are some good ideas for those people that might have the same situation as myself. So let's just get started with ideals. So personally, I have a friend group, which I love dearly. I do, I do, I do. The truth is, is that sometimes in college, of course, we love people that love to drink, love to go out, and love to stay out late. And personally for me, with a dis someone that has to a policy, I take medicine at a certain time. And for my, for my epilepsy and for other health issues, so, because, with that said, sometimes because I take medicine at a certain time, I must um, always, like, I'm not really big on, like, stay out late, I'm not really big on that, and then, of course, it's really hard for me because I'm peer pressure, I don't have peer pressure, but it's like, you know, somehow, like, peer pressure into it, like, you want to, like, go out, you want to do stuff, but as a person with a disability, it's difficult because you know you want to do it but you know you can't do it so I learned in my rehab classes is that people with disabilities are more prone to alcohol and substance abuse and that is really different really um really how do I say this like really shocking for me to um hear that I did not realized that until I took a class about it and that to me was like really really we eye-opening because the truth is is that personally for me I'm not only big on alcohol or my parents had me had me grow up in a situation like where I was like don't do alcohol don't do weed don't do this um but of course, you know it's bad for you, but if you want to do it, but do it in unreasonable amounts. So, of course, I'm almost like that. Neither is my brother. My brother's not like that. He does not have a disability or anything. So, it's really in a situation where I'm like, huh. So, with this said, is that, of course, when you have a disability or not, in college, you always felt like you're peer pressure to do it things. So here are some ideas for endophones and for people with disabilities where if you go to a party and you need like an escape route or like you find ways that you're like, okay, I'm not big on drinking and I need to go. So if you're if I went to like a party and it has drinking involved, some ideas is that you should get there early enough so then you're like, okay, you have time to socialize enough so then you can also have time to leave earlier so then if the next day you have to go to work or something so it looks like you're there longer than everyone else and then like that also my, my personally my group of friends know that i take medicine and they know that i'm not big on drinking so sometimes you just have to tell them the truth so that's something another thing is that you is a good idea is that you should maybe find like a place that you can like decompress and like regroup yourself this will also help yourself personally because it will help like regroup and also understand what your needs are and like, what you need to do another thing that i realized is that when it comes to being in a situation is that sometimes if people are drunk or sometimes you don't really know a group of people is it's hard to find a conversation so sometimes you have to find leeways into um 
find someone that you have a conversation with or like find a topic that interests you or find someone that you thought oh it's really talkable so I'm a big extrovert so again sometimes it's really not that hard for me but sometimes when I'm in a situation I'm like okay it's difficult but also it's a really good way for you to make a progress and make a situation turn it better so I think those are the best ways but at the same time I don't know but overall something that I learned is that in a photo or not in a photo having a disability is that you must always be honest and always try to find ways to like help yourself with it by going out or like being peer pressure like just be honest or like do what makes you feel better for yourself because this will help you as a person be more aware of your being and like be much more of an advocate for yourself instead of being like a pushover. Anyway, I'm sorry this video is not that great but at the same time I hope you guys are doing well and I'm um, like I said this is just a little quick update that I thought of because I've been in a situation a couple times where I felt like okay I need to be honest with my friends but at the same time let me do this and this is something I found really cool because of drugs and abuse but you know what I hope you guys have a great semester and a great rest of your um, day have a wonderful day guys peace love Sarah